what is up guys winter kills here welcome back to a brand new video um i have been uh trying to uh basically brainstorm some ideas for new series to post um things that are more consistent uh the feature art the um open game state things we do uh every now and then sort of when there's you know enough stuff to talk about and i just slap my mic um and then uh you know there's things that come and go um discussions here and there news related stuff new things that are coming out blah 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 but i want to return the future dark type um a couple other things i had an ideas for just so like when i don't have uh recorded footage there's something else i can upload in the series that hopefully you guys will enjoy and look forward to just as much as the other stuff i wanted to go ahead and look at the band list and do something uh, kind of fun uh, where we go through and we have to pick uh, one card in the limited section one card in or one card in the band section one card in the limited section uh, semi-limited and um, pick one card that's completely not on the list um, and uh, place it somewhere on the list bring some things back ban some things move some things around how you would personally do it uh, I guess it's it's sort of my take on it, I guess, which makes it somewhat unique. Uh, but anyways, we'll get started. Uh, I've rambled enough. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through a bit. I'm going to look at the extra deck stuff first, because that kind of sticks out for me. We've got Deng Long, uh, Elder Enemy Norton, El Shadal Construct, and I might be biased uh, towards a few things. Um, you know, maybe Dragoons or Deep Sea Diva, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to keep looking through this. Um... I see Vanity's Emptiness. I want that to stay banned. I don't want that to come to come off the list. Super Poly, please stay banned. Uh, Spellbook of Judgment is interesting. Why do I say that? Because Spellbooks right now, even if you gave them one Judgment, if you brought it to Limited, um, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll take like a thing from this and bring it to this, a thing from this, bring it to... You know this or i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll, we'll work out the uh, the format as we go on i'm seeing maxi on here it's kind of a love hate uh you know spam 60 card decks just go unchecked by this card since it's not on the list any or since it's not playable anymore um magic factor kieran please stay on the list forever level leader yeah i could see that uh being on there for uh a good amount of time Honestly, I think to, to spice things up, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck between Construct coming to one, and I'm also stuck on, uh, where is it? Spellbook of Judgment coming to one. I know that might seem like, you know, what, what the hell's the matter with you? Are, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't think bringing back Judgment to one would bring, uh, like pure spell books into the mix i know there's some decks right now that play a small spell book engine like invoke but like you're just talking about blue boy secrets and then knowledge um which running one judgment in there i don't think would make that big of a difference pure spell book builds i don't know um i don't like i said i don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference i would like to see uh my boy title come back too you know what i'm saying but I think if I'm going to pick one card for this section, uh, I'm going to give it a Construct. I think Shadals deserve a second chance. Uh, I'm making my pick for uh, something to bring off of the band section is going to be Construct. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Bring that to one. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for the band section. Nothing else I, I really feel like should be uh, brought back too much. I think Construct uh, has spent enough time behind bars and... We'll move on from there. All right, so for the next section, we're looking at limited cards. Uh, still quite a few limited cards. Uh, a lot of cards to look through. I see some links. I see some rituals. A lot of Necroz, a lot of uh, Evagishki. Obviously, looking here, you got to keep this stuff banned. Or uh, at one. Clifford Scout, keep it at one. I feel like Clifford is the deck that if you creep up their power a little bit, even with the new pendulum mechanic honestly 
it's it's tough. I don't I don't like Cliff Ward, so personally, I'm gonna say uh, keep Scout at one. Uh, obviously, the Exodia stuff, keep it at one. Seer, Dark Arm Dragon, Deep Sea Diva, Aether the Heavenly Monarch. Ooh, that's that's close. Uh, I, I see Deep Sea Diva. Like I don't know. Like <laughs> no spoiler alert. I might be picking that. Birdman. You got Graf, Grinder Golem, Ignis Heat. Uh, the true Draco warrior. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to not be as biased as much as possible. Kind of bring back some things that, to be like food for thought, you know. You know, maybe if Konami's listening, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll hear me out. You know what I'm saying? Knight Assailant. Why Knight Assailant? Is there some combo? I don't know why this card is... Is, uh... Is that any other than... One, I'm gonna go ahead and look it up real quick. So apparently there's a Knight Assailant loop. Okay, never mind. That's gotta stay at one. I was curious. I had no idea. I don't know the history behind it. Keep that at one. Loops and OTKs like that are terrible. Uh, Red Ice Darkness Metal. Um, dragon Rulers are banned uh, for good. Uh, you know, what other really good Dragon decks are there right now that can really take advantage of that? What, Red Eyes? I don't think so. Blue Eyes, maybe, but... Is Blue Eyes really gonna... Is Blue Eyes really gonna make that big of an impact? I'm gonna go to Dueling Book real quick. Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Let's see. Why, sir, are you on this list where you are? You're still one. Special summon from your hand by banishing one face of Dragon-type monster control, and then you can special summon a Dragon-type monster from your hand except himself. Um, so it's already preventing itself from being summoned. Um, I think this would help out a lot of lower tier decks. People that want to play like Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is in a situation where I think if you give them two Red Eyes Darkness Flare, or D Darkness Metal Dragons, the deck becomes a little better. Uh, the fact that Links are now a thing here in Master Rule Four, I don't think it makes. I don't think Links hurt them in too much because they're the type of deck that's been sort of like known to sit on one extra deck monster. Like, um, let's see, Blue Eyes. What happens when I type in Blue Eyes here? Yeah, the uh, level 9 Sacred Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Um, you have Alternative Dragon, which uh, I don't even think you could summon Alternative Dragon with, uh, you know, with Red Eyes Flare. And I, I don't even think, like, Blue Eyes was playing this card to begin with. So I think that's definitely up there and something you could bring back. Um, Spiral Gear Drone and Quick Fix, uh, those I think they can stay right now. I, I, I don't know too much about... Uh, spirals, but I know they were pretty good. Uh, luckily, I was like not playing in that time when they were like really, really good. Terra Top still keep that at three, um, even though like there's no reason to like want to go into a quick rank three for invoked or uh, for like invoker anymore. So maybe, maybe that's another uh, candidate. Quick Fix Tour Guide Zodiac Wrap here. You got to keep Zodiac still under check. Um, tour Guide. Yes, because I think BA is still getting a new Link Monster. That's why I still think you got to keep these these guys on the list here, because BA on its own can still actually be pretty nuts. Uh, Unicor, Bryanac. Ooh, that's interesting. Galoran, Ignis or Prominence, and Trish. Okay, Beatrice. And then you got a whole bunch of spells. You got Upstart Goblin. This card, Upstart's unfortunately going to have to stay on the list still because you have a card like Light, Sekka's Light that's coming out that if you could play... Eh, you, you can't even play those two together, though. See, that's what kind of makes me want to give it a little pass. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Compulse. I honestly don't see why this card could come back. Uh, Macrocosmos, Skill Drain, uh, Solemn Judgment, Warning... True King's Return, Wall of Revealing Light. All right, well, I think for something on the uh, the limited section here, I think one thing we could come out and bring off, I'm going to say Compulse. They brought Torrential to three. They bought Bottomless to three. Bring Compulse to three. Why not? I'm pretty sure it's not at one in the OCG. I think that's going to be my pick. Um, everything else, I think, is still has its right spot uh, being limited. So for the limited section, I think well, I'm gonna bring Compulse to three, and that is gonna be my decision. We'll move on to the semi-limited stuff. We have Dragoons, we have Luster, Pendulum, Mathematician, Necroface, Wind Up Magician, TG Hyper Librarian, Burial from a Different Dimension. I didn't even realize this card was at two, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, Chain Strike, um, Fuck Burn, so I'm just gonna say keep that shit there. 
Burial from a different dimension. Is it actually at two? Wow, I didn't realize that. And Fortnite Layer of Darkness is kind of a thing right now, but honestly, you know, I'm kind of biased a little bit too on that because I played in Fortnite a lot and I didn't even know this card had come back. But I think that's the only deck right now that could abuse this card uh, to such an extent where it might make a difference. Uh, Mathematician at two. Um, like I said, you know, if I'm bringing back Construct to one, um, like in my, in my first pick, and I'm going to bring Mathematician back to three, I'm going to say go ahead and bring this to three. I think that's going to be my pick. Get that off the list. Bring Mathematician back to three. That's my pick. So that's what I'm choosing for semi-limited. And one card to ban. Or one card to put on the list. I'm not necessarily going to choose uh, from these. Um, cause that means I would have to choose, you know, based on every ban list, which is what I don't want to do. I'd like to do this, it'd be monthly or bi-weekly or something like that. They had, uh, brought Dark Hole, not too recently, but Dark Hole back to one. Um, let's see, it is limited now, Dark Hole. Yeah, that was the previous ban list, uh, which I think here says was November 6th, so that wasn't too recent. I was gonna say evenly matched would probably be on my 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 choice list to put somewhere on this ban list but i also feel in the same way it's either a three or none card because it can be pretty sacky we do see people citing stuff like um lancia and um the guy that summons from here that makes it so your opponent can't banish i forget what his name is it's like a hand trap sort of out of all the new stuff let's see here evenly matched evenly matched i know it's getting reprinted too but which would be actually sort of good if it, it was getting hit if it's getting reprinted because that means the prices would come down anyways evenly matched though i think it's just such a, a shitty and sacky card you know you opt to go second you have it in your hand it's a trap card first of all why not make it a quick play spell like why does that have to be a trap i feel like that's just adding insult to injury the fact that oh i can activate it from my hand and then make them wipe their entire field um, I think it's kind of unfair. I think I'm gonna put evenly matched on the list. I'm gonna take uh, should all construct to one I am going to and then I think our choice down here for the limited section was to Bring compulse to three along with its counterparts in uh, bottomless and torrential and then bring mathematician to three as well uh, Remove that off there and then one card to put on the list would definitely be evenly matched in my opinion I think that's one card that could uh definitely see some uh relevance being put on the list i don't know i think that's i think that's one thing that i would do all right but yeah like i said i think evenly matched is going to be the card that i end up putting on the list um i don't know how the formatting is going to be for this type of episode but i think it's cool to go through and like look through the ban list every now and then you know like i said some food for thought and uh we'll see how it goes what would you uh change from the ban section the limited section uh, the semi-limited section, or what would you put on the list in any way, shape, or form. So anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, and as always, Winter Kill is signing out. We'll see ya in the next one.